You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com, where we actually put a price tag on truth and cursing and swearing. Hey, Aaron, I'm a 24-year-old considering getting a certified fraud examiner de uh, designation. I understand the CPA is the end-all be-all, but I don't want to get the credits and thought it wasn't that important in previous videos. Uh, I work for the, the state as a contract auditor, and many people up above me have multiple designations, CPA, CFE, CIGA, CIA, etc. Do you think having a CFE will open doors of state... Out, outside of state work and could be a ticket to starting my own business is something like financial consulting or insert what comes to mind here. Yeah, advising, consulting, audit, yeah. Uh, P.S. I like my job, but wondering if the CFE is that valuable and is continuing growing profession. Thanks, uh, Lewis. Well, thank you, Lewis. Here's the deal. Um, yeah, I looked into I contacted my buddy uh, Chad Elkins, who is a CPA, and he's like, I've never heard of it. I'm like, really? I, mean, I thought you guys all knew your fucking alphabet soup. But anyway, he's like, he didn't. So then I looked into it. And the uh, median salary is roughly seventy grand uh, for these financial examiners and these certified uh, financial examiners. And the it, it's uh, you can be in the state. I mean, certainly your SECs and your your obviously regulatory type of agencies, uh, state and federal, is fine. But they also do employ them in your uh, big four accounting firms, the auditing firms, things like that. The only problem is I think that you'd have an issue jumping from state to private sector work because those big four, and I don't even know if you want to go to the big four because those guys are, they're assholes. They're a pain in the ass to work for. It's not worth it. But yes, if you had this, I think it would definitely improve your employability both in state auditor type regulatory agencies and then also the private sector as well. And then yes, would also open up uh, especially with a couple of years experience would open up the chance that you could be a consultant or, or open up your own business. Uh, now, like the CPA and other certifications, it's requiring that you get two years of work, but you already seem to got that. The other thing is that it would requires you have a degree in accounting. I don't know if you have that. But absolutely, yeah, this would be a very logical next step. I think you got all the prerequisites. I'm going to assume you have a degree in accounting. You probably already have two years of work in as a state auditor, um, yeah, this would be, I, I mean, I can't guarantee you anything and, and I can't guarantee you a hundred percent, but this would, this would not be the worst thing you could do. I'd say this would be a very logical and uh, next step, not to be, not to mention a really good investment of your time. So yeah, certainly take a look at that. Um, it, it, in my research, it did open up some doors in the private sector and, um, yeah, it certainly would help out with some self-employability once you get, you know, you become that old man with the beard. So, anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.